The sun is about to set, guys, and I'm standing outside the team of our house. You guys know that this place is haunted, but the only thing is I don't actually believe in ghosts. That being said, I've experienced a tremendous amount of different unexplained things here, but I'm a man of science, so to me, scientifically, ghosts just don't make sense and can't exist in my mind, even when I'm like staring right at them. We haven't filmed any haunted videos in a while because it's just gotten a little bit crazy and out of hand, and things have actually calmed down, but tonight, we're gonna crack open the haunted door and the portal to the supernatural of what exists up there, guys. And tonight, we're gonna be bringing back the paranormalist to give us all the manpower and the tools necessary to communicate and to crack that door open to the attic and communicate with the ghost. Behind me is the doors to the attic, and we are gonna be cracking it open and discovering exactly what is going on inside once and for all. And believe me, by the end of this video, you and I are both gonna be believing in ghosts. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I am joined here with Matt, the paranormalist, and so I want to explain who you are. You're like a professional ghost hunter. Yes, for the lack of a better term, I am a professional ghost hunter. I've got a decent amount of equipment here with me tonight. One of the main pieces of equipment I'm excited to use here would be the ramp pod all the way over here. That thing can give you some pretty spooky results, so essentially you get close to it, it goes off. So if it goes off and no one's close to it, it's kind of weird. A piece of equipment that I really want to introduce to you that I think you're gonna really like is the SLS camera. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks like something straight out of Ghostbusters. This is gonna be awesome. So this is gonna sh like find ghosts. If yes. If they're there, we'll see it with this yep. piece of equipment right here. You'll actually see the exact spot they're standing. Ooh. Last time we were exploring with ghosts, we had a ton of people in the house. And what we identified is that the spirit that is here is actually a little bit more shy. And so tonight, basically no one else is here. We're gonna basically be the only ones in this house and we're gonna be going at this together to see if we can have a little bit more of an intimate contact with this spirit tonight and we have more equipment so I think we're gonna be able to do it. I think so. This is the first piece of ghost equipment that we are gonna use as we go all the way up to the attic. This is an EMF device so basically the higher the reading the more likelihood there could be a spirit and at some point of like anything over like an eight is like something sketchy is going on so let's see what we find with this. We're up to 2.7 as soon as we start walking. Three, six, seven. It just went up to seven like right around here. Oh my gosh, it's the dog. She's possessed, that's why she was growling. But yeah, definitely some energy right in this spot. Oh, eight, nine. It's at nine right now. Guys, this is a really high reading of nine. Oh. Oh. But now it's saying 10. Best eyes I've ever seen that thing go. What does that mean? To be honest, it's that bathroom, man. Last time I was here, yeah. I saw something in there. This is the bathroom that we explored the very first time when we moved into this house, and Millie was standing there and she completely froze. That's the closet where everything is. Wait, 50, 57, what the heck? Oh, there it is. That's the That's shot. That's exactly where it is, yeah. Oh boy. Guys, I think there's something in this closet. But what does this mean? The closer we get to the bathroom, the higher this thing goes. So we need to go in there and explore, I think. I think so. We haven't even gotten to the attic yet, guys, and these lights were flashing, which drawed our attention to kind of look over in this side, and then we remembered about the haunted bathroom. And then the first device that I just randomly decided to use tonight started freaking out, reading the highest he's ever seen. So we're gonna go back with some more of the heavy equipment and explore the bathroom to see if something is actually going on there, or if we should just spend our time in the attic. The only piece of ghost hunting equipment I brought was this red light because uh, I feel like that's scary. I don't know. I got it from Walmart. All right, so this is the SLS camera here. If somebody were to be standing in front of this, you will be able to see that person oh, and the skeletal what? structure oh, of the person. no way. All right, do a dance, Matt. Break it down. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and so you're saying if no one's there, but a yeah, but spirit you, is there. You'll see the skeletal structure. No way. Right there, something is right next just to behind him to his left. So it was just standing right over here. It's like climbing the wall. Now it's contorting. Oh, it disappeared as soon as you got close to it. Guys, it's so crazy because I'm not seeing anything with my eyes or the camera, but this device oh, is so able good. to identify. What if you pan towards the, the bathroom? Oh, it's right in the doorway. That is, that's the doorway. As we get closer to it, it's like climbing up onto the wall, like trying to get away. This is so There's weird. There's nothing that would cause a stick figure to be right there. Nothing. What if you go really close and like try to almost touch? Gone. You get too close with it, it goes away. Well, this is definitely the point of interest is in the actual bathroom. This is exactly where I saw the entity last time I was here. Is it really behind it? No, nothing in there? 
All clear? All clear? All clear? All right, well. Mm, all clear. I guess the, uh, the team <laughs> are merch in that closet is really keeping the spirits away. So now it's time to just go up to the attic. Here is the attic, guys. We haven't cracked this door open in a while. So there's old lock, old handle, a newer lock, and even a newer handle with a lock in it. So that's got three locks and two doorknobs, which is very bizarre. Guys, this is it. We're gonna be spending 24 hours on the other side of this door. You know for a fact something is up there. Let's go. Oh wait, someone's beeping in my pocket. This is already going up. It started beeping in my pocket. I, didn't, I forgot I had this on me. Carter, I don't think this is a good idea. 24 hours up here. We are not allowed to leave. Millie just ran up. Millie, hey, where's she going? Ah, oh, she scared me. Me? Oh, and Matt's up here. Wait, everyone just- They didn't want to be yeah, left Matt, alone Matt down there. Matt was too scared to stay alone down there, so Matt came upstairs. <laughs> yeah, so guys, let me just remind everyone. So we have a lot of Matt's here, but Matt over here is actually, he says he doesn't believe in ghosts, but he was too scared to stay down alone, so he'd rather be up in the attic. I don't know. I want to I wanna see what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, see what I'm saying? I'm he, hoping. Guys, he's literally too scared. I just saw something before the my head. It's not a ghost since you don't believe in ghosts. Guys, he has no idea, but he's going to believe in ghosts by the end of this video. If there's anything that's in here with us, will you touch that little device that has that light showing up? Whoa. The very second I ask, the very, it's still going. Back up. Step away from it. Please step away. Thank you. <laughs> Carter. What? How is this the last 24 hours? 24, 24 hours? I mean, we gotta make it at least through the night. We just got up here and Matt's already communicating with ghosts. There's something down here. There's something down there? 100%. I just heard like several thuds down here somewhere. We're all up here. We're yeah. all up here. But there's no one downstairs. There's no one right there. Like right like here. -ish. I thought you said you don't believe in ghosts. Uh -huh. Really? What's going on? She's not scared at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I have heard that dogs have kind of like a six set sense that they're able to see or detect or smell things that we can't see as humans. And I have seen that with Millie, especially when she was freezing when we were ghost hunting prior, but I've never seen her react any different kind of way being up here in the attic, but she's snooping around, but she, her tail is up. She's definitely not scared. She's having a good time. She's all excited. Woo, what are we doing up here, Millie? I've only been up here a few minutes. Guys, this thing keeps going off. I don't think we're gonna be able to stay up here much longer. You don't think it'll have 24 hours? 24 hours? No. I already wanna leave. So this is my first time in the attic at night. I missed the last haunted video, so I think I'm even more susceptible to a ghost finding me because I've never been up here at night looking for the ghost, so I'm really freaked out. I don't think I can stay for 24 hours, guys. Oh my gosh. So this one was beeping at the bottom of the stairs when we first walked up. Matt says he heard like a thump. Oh, it's going up again. To nine. Oh. Yo, it's beeping down here. We're up to 11. It's reading high. Guys, this is going crazy down here. Right by the attic door. Oh, it just dropped. It just left. Uh -oh. Yo, Matt, I'm getting a high reading down here. This thing's going off. Like right here, right in the middle, it's beeping. Yeah, look at that, 12. I think this dude's just kind of like looking down at us. Yeah, why is that right there? Also, this dude is a little strange. I haven't noticed him yet. I'm still curious as to why there are so many like children's drawings and artwork. I felt like I heard something on the other side of this door. I think I... Temperature's starting to drop too. Yeah, there's something's going on. I was just about to say I heard something rush up against the door. Now this thing's going on. We are one hour into the 24 hour attic challenge guys. So far things are a little creepy. We have definitely had some contact with a spirit, but it's not good enough. The spirit seems to be very shy and reserved. So we're gonna be trying to tone things down, get a little bit quieter as we get later into the night and see if we can get some better communication and contact with whatever is up here. Is your name Sonia Henny? Do you know Sonia? Am I the best tenant that's ever lived in this house? Sonia Henny, are you in here? Well, it's really interesting. There's something back there. I really started freaking out when I went in there. I know that you're close to it. Actually, touch it. I wouldn't be doing that. I do feel some kind of way about that room. It makes you wonder what it was built for. I mean, storage, yeah, but you have this entire attic that's painted with these children paintings. Then you've got this room, it's like a tiny little workshop. It's strange. Like right there. You heard it this time, right? Some kind of a thump, like right there. Well, the other side of that wall we can access, which is really scary. You think the thump is coming from back there? Oh my 
So this part of the attic, guys, is actually above Andrew's room, and Andrew does hear footsteps some nights, and I think this is where they could potentially be coming from. I just heard the weirdest noise over here, like to that corner. Don't even know how to describe it. This is freaky. Come back. I've actually never been back in this one either. Whoa. That insulation is like wrecked. There's all these nails on the wall. It's crazy like, wrecked back there. I don't ever remember it looking like this. Guys, I think we need to go back there. I'm gonna explore this way. Probably not the best idea. I've never been back here at all. Oh, okay. What's crazy is there's like stuff over here. Whoa. Yeah. Careful. There's so much space in here. This is above where Andrew's. Like, Millie, Millie, don't go too far out there. That's scary, girl. The floor stops here. Oh, sh! Thought I saw something. Oh, that shadow freaked me out. Did you saw something back there? It was just like a shadow. Challenge number one, guys. I'm going first. I'm going to be spending five minutes inside the little workshop alone. Gosh, this is not a good idea. We have the little spirit box looking thing right there, too. Oh my gosh, guys. It's freaky back here. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this challenge. And I'll tell you one thing. If that thing goes off while I'm in here, I'm out. Guys, I'm actually like scared. What was that? Guys, I'm done with this challenge. I'm not doing it. I didn't even close the door. So guys, this is kind of the biggest, most powerful piece of ghost hunting equipment that we have with us tonight. So Matt, paranormalist, is standing in front of us. You can see how if it identifies something, it will trace out the skeleton. So even if we can't see things, this will be able to see things. Oh, oh, oh. It's in here. Matt, it's in here. The skeleton was in here against the wall. I knew I felt weird about that area. Maybe we should spend five minutes in there. <laughs> I don't know about that. There's a lot of activity. You can see both on the top right and the main part of this monitor, we're seeing all kinds of activity. This is the only skeleton activity that we were seeing anywhere in the attic so far. Guys, I'm not gonna spend five minutes in here with the door closed or anything like that, which I think is what the spirit wants. It wants to draw us further and it wants to isolate us. So I'm gonna go back here to put this where we saw the skeleton. Skeleton. So let's keep this closed for now. Millie, what's going Millie on? Millie and I are done. Honestly, I've seen too much. I don't even think I was gonna make it the 24 hours, but at this point, Millie, come on. She's freaking out. Millie, what? This is the first she, time I've seen Millie scared. She keeps like jumping on me. I honestly, I'm out guys. I can't do this anymore. I have to go. All right, well, you know, after you pass that door, then you can't come back. I'm out, I have to. Bye right. guys! Bye. Don't get too haunted! Uh, you, are you okay? Okay. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, minus Elena, minus Millie. We have uh, just the boys, but at least Matt's going to be here all night. No, nah, I'm out. Wait, what? I thought you didn't believe in ghosts. I'm out. What do you mean? I'm out. I heard too much. Matt, you don't even much. believe in ghosts. Oh, my God. I can't get... Oh, my God. Okay, well, minus Matt. I can't believe that he left too, but at least we have Matt one and Matt two. All right, guys, this is it. Matt the paranormalist is the only one brave enough to do the actual challenge, and we're putting him in the room with the skeleton. I think it might be safe if we come up with a safe word. So yeah. if I need to come out, <laughs> yeah. I'll yell pineapple. 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 Okay. I'm ready. After you, then. Guys, this is so sketchy. All right, Matt, famous last words. Um, I don't have any. All right, good luck then. Uh, I yeah. hope the ghost has more words than that. So you're sure that we're gonna lock you in? Yeah, lock me in. Oh my gosh, Matt, this is not a good idea. He literally yeah. can't get out. This is so bad. I don't like this card. I'm just glad it's not me. All right, you got me here alone. You want to tell me something? All right, you were over here. So we're gonna be out here, but now we're actually more alone. I'm like worried, like what if this picks up a skeleton while we are out here? What if it's out here and he's safe in there? Oh, oh my gosh, that's the first time we saw the green light. Thank you, you touched it. Can you do it again? Okay, you're making the temperature drop. Thank you for that. Why is he thanking the ghost? Come on, where'd you go? Come back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that you? Oh my gosh, guys, I'm freaking out. This is exactly where we saw the skeleton on the SLS camera, guys. I'm a little freaked out, my heart's beating a little fast, but... What was that? What is that noise? Is that you? Guys, I was hearing a weird... A weird... I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, a little surrounded. Can you tell me what you are? Do you want to hurt me? Okay. Hey, yo, pineapple! 
if it wanted to hurt me and they started going insane. No way. We need to get out of here. So Matt, what what's going on? So like these sensors are going off. Does that mean like there's for sure a ghost or something up here? Oh, 100%. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's dangerous. I, I know we're trying to, to film for YouTube and we want to get the views and we want it to be awesome and everything, but I got to be honest with you. I think we need to cut it. We might open up a doorway that you can't close. I know we haven't done the 24 hours, but safety comes first, man. So what's the problem if we keep pushing forward? Something is going to push back and somebody can get really hurt and i really don't think a video for youtube is worth getting seriously hurt or maybe something worse happening i think we need to cut it man all right guys so we need to break this challenge and you guys know that i hate breaking challenges i always like to win and be competitive but i have to take his advice he's a professional so i think we need to go back downstairs right now we need to lock up the doors we need to, we got to get going now all right i'm gonna come in here but just to get my stuff okay all right go quick go quick Yo, yo, get, go, 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 go. We gotta get this door locked. Matt, go, go, go. Things are going off. Grab his stuff. We need to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Guys, the equipment is freaking out. Come on, guys, let's go. Harder, open this door. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Go, 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 go. I feel immediately better already, guys. Oh my gosh. This is serious. We need to get out of the house. We need to get out right now. We gotta go. All right, guys, this video was a complete fail, but it was Matt's recommendation because things were getting dangerous. But I'm actually curious, if we kept pushing it and we stayed up there, what would happen? Well, the last time that I actually experienced something that was crazy like that and I just kept pushing and pushing for the content, yeah. I ended up leaving with bite marks on my body. A ghost that, bit you? Yes, and I think it might have been something a little bit darker than a ghost. Yes, we lost the 24 hour challenge, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, it, I don't want to get bit by whatever it could be up there. That's crazy. I'm telling you, man. All right, guys. Well, if you want to see that video and other videos that he has filmed with other ghosts and spirits, go check him out on YouTube and Instagram, The Paranormalist. And we're going to see you guys on the next video. But uh, I'm not sleeping here. Uh, I, I got to go find some place to stay. You guys ready for the next video? Click right here or right here. Also, check out TeamRar.com. We got some awesome stuff like this plushie, this backpack, shirts, hats, everything that you could ever want. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here and I'll see you guys on that next vlog. Click right there or right here. Do something.